Hi guys, Crochet Connect here. I'm just coming to you today with a quick um, little crochet update. I found a few projects I want to do for Christmas. I know there's only a couple of weeks until Christmas, so I'm hoping to get these done soon. They are pretty small projects um, that should go by fairly quickly, so I'm hoping to get them done in time for Christmas. Um, so the first thing is a few ornaments for my front window. I have mentioned before that, um, well, I showed you before the uh, snowflakes I crocheted for my front window. Um, so my front window is actually really big. It's like a six foot wide window. Um, and right now I have my snowflakes and my Christmas lights in the upper half of the window. There are, it's divided into two big panels and then four little panels at the bottom, which you can open. Um, well, two of them open. They slide open. Um, so right now my decorations are just on the big two big top panels um, so I wanted to make a couple of little ornaments for the four smaller panels um, so um, I went out to Walmart today actually and I picked up more suction cup hooks I think this is a different brand than the ones I have I think they're slightly smaller and I'm pretty sure the ones I bought before came in packs of four this is a pack of five and it was four dollars something and I think the ones I bought before were only like two ninety nine or something like that um, but yeah, so I got five more hooks, um, and luckily <laughs> I went there today before they were all sold out because this was the last package, um, so I was lucky there. Um, so one of the items I want to put in my window is this gingerbread house. It's actually supposed to be a dishcloth um, and made in cotton, but I'm not going to use it as a dishcloth, so I'm just going to make it in acrylic and hang it in my window. Um, so for the brown, I'm going to use this Red Heart Super Saver in warm brown. I believe this is the leftover from the um, Gingerbread House Advent Calendar I made a couple of years ago. I'll put the link to that video down below in case anyone's interested in seeing that. Um, so yeah, so that's going to be the body of the house. And I have a bunch of red and white scraps that I'm going to use for the rest of the house. And then for the candies on top of the house there. I'm going to use this Bernat Icicle Holiday. Um, hopefully it'll work out because apparently this is a number six super bulky. Um, it is pretty bulky but I didn't think it was number six bulky. Um, so hopefully that works out. Um, I bought this several years ago from a local craft shop um, called Lens Mill Store. I don't know if Bernat even makes this anymore. Um, but yeah, it's called Bernat Icicle Holiday, and the colorway is Icicle Multi. And I have no idea why I initially bought it or why I only bought one. Oh wait, no, I remember now. Um, because I had a variegated Christmas yarn that I bought from Hobby Lobby one year when my husband and I went on a cross-border shopping trip to Michigan. And I used it to make myself a Christmas stocking. And I almost ran out of yarn because I only bought one skein of it. And my Christmas stocking turned out way bigger than it should have. Um, so I bought this because I thought it matched the variegatedness of my other yarn. But it did not match at all. Not even close. Um, so I ended up not using it. But um, I have also been planning to use this for many years for another project which I have never gotten around to. Um, I have this um, candy cane garland. I don't know if you can see it very well. Um, there's a little close-up there at the bottom. There's also stars and flowers. Um, but I'm going to make the candy cane. I don't know where I'm going to hang it. Um, and I've been wanting to make this since I lived in my apartment. And I didn't know where I was going to hang it there either. But, <laughs> um, but I really want a candy cane garland. I don't know why. So... That's what I'm going to use the rest of that for. I don't know if I'm going to get to that this year, but I'm hoping I will. It doesn't look too hard. It looks like it should be a pretty quick project. Um, but back to the window. So I'm going to do the gingerbread house, and then I also want to do a gingerbread man. And I was going to use the pattern for the little gingerbread man that came with, or that was made with the um, advent calendar that I made. Um, it's just a little tiny one that you move from pocket to pocket in the advent calendar. Um, so I was going to use that pattern and like triple or quadruple the stitch count to make it bigger. 
Um, but then I remembered I had this book, Twinkie Chan's Crochet Goodies for Fashion Foodies. And she makes tons of scarves um, out of crocheted versions of various foods. And she has a scarf of gingerbread men. So I'll probably use this pattern to make one of the gingerbread men to hang in my window. Um, they look like they're pretty big like compared to her hand. They look like they'd be pretty, pretty good size for my window. So I think I'll make one of those, at least one. I'm not sure how many I want to do. Um, cause as I said, I have four panels, so I want to definitely make the house and at least one gingerbread man. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do in the other two panels. I was thinking a candy cane and a snowman. And then I was thinking just two candy canes, but I'm not hundred percent sure yet. Um, but when that window is done, I will do another video outside showing everybody my window. Um, if I do get it done by Christmas. Um, if not, I guess it'll have to wait till next year. If I'm even still on YouTube next year. <laughs> but enough about that. Um, so yeah, so I think that is all I have to say about crochet today. Um, I haven't had any more progress done on my shawl. Um, hopefully I'll get some more progress done soon so you can actually see what it's going to look like when it's done. Um, I hope to get enough, um, rows done of the pattern so you can see what the pattern actually looks like soon. Um, but yeah, so I think that's all the crafty stuff I have to talk about today. So I hope everybody's been having a good December and happy crafting.